regulation is going into effect in January 2025 that is going to kill a lot of paper lead companies. Let's break it down. So in December 2023, a new FCC regulation came out that is requiring lead generation providers to have more disclosures to sellers who opt in to their website. The way the paper lead companies work, right, is they have their own uh, advertising campaigns with Facebook and Google and YouTube ads and like all these other uh, digital advertising strategies. And they go to some generic um, lead generation website like, you know, ibuyhouses.com or like what need to sell my house fast.com or something like that, right? And they're advertising on a national scale. So then their website is again, national and generic. Home sellers are going to their website, filling out the form, and then that paper lead company takes that information and then it's a lead and then sells that lead to either one or multiple investors that are bidding against each other in a given location. And they have all these leads that funnel through this website and they have these distribution software that takes the lead and depending on the location will sells it to individual people. And it's a very profitable business model. That's why there's so many paper lead companies popping up because you can pay money to generate a lead with Facebook for 50 bucks and you can sell it for hundreds of dollars, the same lead to multiple different investors. But with this new FCC regulation, they're not gonna be able to do that anymore. They would basically, the paper lead providers would have a get an offer or quote for your house form. And then that information would be sent to a ton of different companies. But now the, the new regulations, you have to disclose to which company exactly you're gonna be transferring the leads information to. The regulation was that you just had to have one consent form and say, hey, I consent to be contacted by this company and its marketing partners. And that really accompanied if they took that information and called you directly or one of their 500 different partners contact you. But the sweeping generic language won't work anymore. So now you need to get consent for every single person that you wanna sell the lead to. So if I'm a paper lead company and I'm selling my lead to let's say, you know, Bob the Builder, <laughs> instead of saying, hey, home seller, you're gonna fill out the form on my website and I'm gonna take your information and sell it to Bob the Builder or Susie the Builder or whoever. No, now I have to say, hey, are you cool with me giving your information to Bob the Builder? Hey, are you cool with giving me the information to uh, Susie the Builder? And you have to do each one individually, which is gonna make it near impossible for a paper lead company to take one seller's information and then resell it to a bunch of different people, legally. So under the new FCC rule, a consumer can grant only one-to-one -one consent, only one-to-one -one consent. So you can only take that lead's information and sell it to one person. The specific seller has to be consent. The seller needs to know ahead of time where their information is going to before they submit the information, which is a crucial change. Paper lead companies have been popping up, not just in real estate, but in all these different industries, and they're abusing the consent of sellers. And it's gotten to a point where now the FCC has stepped in, trying to eliminate the paper lead industry entirely. So what does this mean for paper lead companies moving forward? I don't know exactly how they're going to combat that. I'm sure they're working hard to try to figure it out. Um, either they're going to continue operating as is and just operate illegally and risk getting fined or hopefully won't get caught, or they're going to instead partner with specific exclusive individuals where they can provide that consent. Um, but then you're not really a paper lead company anymore. You're acting more as an agency. So I don't know exactly um, how it's going to shake out, but nobody's talking about this at all. And a lot of investors are relying on paper lead for their business and may have no idea that this is coming to infect. You need to be prepared. Talk to your paper lead provider to see what they're doing about this and how it's going to affect your business. Again, this regulation came out December 2023, and they're giving the industry 12 months to get their act together and figure out what to do. And 12 months is gonna be January, 2025. This is the danger of relying on a paper lead company for the changes coming and that your business is set up to not have to 100% rely on it. The solution may be that you hire an agency or you do it yourself. I have a free course that you can get in the link in the description. And if you're not sure what to do next, well, check out this next video.